Hello and welcome to another video today. Once again, down in Port Coburn, trying to get you another great shot of a ship coming through the canal and head out onto Lake Erie. Today, Front Frontenac, Frontenac is on its way through. Uh, lift bridge is just going up behind me and she'll be coming through very shortly. I also have a camera set up on the wall over there. Uh, try and get another angle for you. And I'm gonna try and get the drone up. It is gusting about 35, I should be okay. Uh, but it, it does keep nipping up. I'm gonna quickly try and get the drone up and get this ship as she heads out onto Lake Erie and on, 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 on then on her way up to Thunder Bay. All right, so let's go. Look at it, here she comes. What a great looking ship that is. That is awesome. This is the MV Frontenac. She is a self-unloading bulk carrier that operates in the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence Seaway. MV Frontenac was constructed by Davy Shipbuilding in Lausanne, Quebec as a straight deck bulk carrier in 1968 and was later converted into a self-unloader at the Collingwood Shipyards in 1973. Her length is 222.5 meters, 730 feet. Her breadth is 22.86 meters, 75 feet, and she's equipped with six cargo holds. The length of her boom is 76.84 meters, 252 feet, and the overhaul total hold capacity is 24,539 cubic meters. MV Frontenac is wholly owned and operated by CSL. It's noted that the Frontenac aided in the search of the missing steamer Edmund Fitzgerald after the latter sank in Lake Superior back in November 1975.
absolute beast. What a spectacular looking shit she is. One of the older ones where the, uh, the bridge is at the front, of course. Frontenac. This is uh, it's great. Love it. What a beautiful day. Bon voyage! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, have a good one. That was a great catcher today. That was worth being out here in this cold weather with my nose dripping. Loved it. Just coming in over here, we've got an Algoma. Get to watch that go in, which will be the next video. now as he pushes out onto the lake look at that smokestack video just keeps getting better and better. Hope you like that make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more content on ships up on the great lakes uh, my name is nigel and also known as lake erie vlogger until the next time which will be the algoma harvester which is coming in will be our next video in the lineup so uh yeah make sure you like and subscribe so you won't miss the algoma harvester as she comes in to port coburn We're getting soaked out here, absolutely soaked.